Welcome back, everybody. In the Cargill races on Saturday morning, I said Saturday afternoon, they start. It's uh, 11 races at 12.25. Craig, they've got lots to be proud of down there in Southland because Jason Broad and his team now have the best stakes in the whole country. That's pretty cool. It is. I mean, you look at the maiden race, the last race there uh, tomorrow, Michael, $10,000 for a maiden. I mean, that's encouraging at this time of the year. I mean, they get around about 5500 for winning the race. So good on them. They're putting money in. They've got good fields tomorrow and a solid card. As I say, first starting at 12.25. Top and tailing the two that I like tomorrow, Michael. Races one and the last. Early on in the first, a horse called Ronnie Pickering, trained by Brett Gray. He always showed a little bit of ability prior to COVID. He's come back. He had a trial the other day behind Major Meister and Major Watson. Two pretty nice horses. He was back on the fence, um, 57 last half I got him in a quarter and 28 and he never pulled out. Thought he really ran to the line. There's not a lot of depth in this race other than the Paul Court trained Stavros the tear and he's let the punters down a couple of times in the past. So I wouldn't mind Ronnie Pickering on an each way basis. He could be at a decent price in the first. And the other one I like, Michael's in the last. So top and tail, a maiden, Longy Val from Nathan Williamson's barn. It was very good last week. Probably the brother didn't uh, do him any favours, pushing him about six wide on the last bend, Matty. And uh, Nathan got beaten a nose. Um, I think he'll go one better this week, Longy Vale. He's a pretty nice maiden. It's a nice race for him. He's three times on the track, three placings, and he's got a good draw. Certainly a much better draw than the 13 he had last week. And there, I feel there's only one danger in the Barclay trained love on the rock. So Longy Vale in the last and Ronnie Pickering in the first. Unusual one, uh, Craig, talking about Longy Bell on the last, the Stipes report saying that the reason he actually swerved so wide on the bend was uh, one of the other drivers was yelling and he didn't like it. And he actually ran away from the driver yelling. Now, I've read a lot of Stipes reports in my life. I can't remember reading that one before. So Longy Bell, maybe the right. earplugs are needed. I reckon the brother might have been the one yelling at him because that was fence <laughs> drawn inside him. So Nate, Nate and Matty, uh, no brotherly love, lost at Invercargo last week. Yeah, I like your two. I also like race three, number 11, Miss Craze from Phil Williamson's team. Went to Addington last week and just completely lost it. And it wouldn't be the first horse to go to Addington and lose it. Different situation there. I think uh, a more relaxed type feel. It's quite a big field, third on the card. But yeah. what did you make of Miss Crazed in the earlier trials? Because I thought there was enough there to suggest she would be, if she trots all the way, really hard to beat in the third. I think she's quite a nice uh, horse. Very green. What I noticed at Addington, she took everything uh, in when she was doing a prelim and she just got a little bit wound up at the start. It was okay, uh, Michael. Um, of course, a good family. And I think she's certainly going to win races. Manners will be the key with her tomorrow. The one that caught my eye, actually on our Trials Review podcast that we do every week, Michael, for my web, uh, web page, is a horse called Andy Armo. It's the first start of a Kirk Larson. It's out of a mare called All Shook Up that won a few races. I think with Gavin Smith, might have won about half a dozen, four or five anyway. This one's by Andover Hall, owned by Cameron Mackey and Trish Janelle. And I reckon this one goes pretty nicely, Michael. So maybe a nice Quinella with um, Miss Crazed and Andy Armour, a first starter, I think will win a few races. Craig, uh, Craig, it's a busy weekend for harness racing. There's Eddington Friday night, of course, in Bacargo, Saturday, Eddington again Sunday. For those people who, who this isn't enough for them, they want more winners because it's the only New Zealand racing at the moment of the equines. Um, what's the place to go to? Where do they go to find your website or the 0900 number if they want a bit of help? Mate, I think uh, walesharness.co.nz, that's the starting point because it'll reference you to everywhere you need to go. What we've done is set up this week is a trials review uh, program and it is a video podcast that I do myself. I clock all the sectionals from the trials that I've seen and I highlight half a dozen from each of the meeting, putting them on a basic uh, video that people can have a look at and uh, they're there. And there's a few going around at Invercargill on Saturday. So maybe worth a decent look. Thanks, Well, Looking forward to getting some people online to get some more winners for this big harness racing weekend.